Hello everyone, my name is Random1785, and in this video I'm going to go over more runs of the 1785 challenge. I've decided that for these uh, thumbnails, or these intros, I'm just going to say what 1785 runs is. 1785 runs is basically Minecraft, but I cannot reset. I have to beat every seed I play into. I have to speedrun every seed I load into in the fastest time that I can, while also not dying, because that would lose time. That's basically what the challenge is, and that's what I've been doing for the past 100 few runs. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoy the video. Uh, these are the highlights from the runs that I'm going to be doing. Uh, you can watch all of them on my second channel, which is I hopefully I've linked it in the description if you want to watch them. Yeah, um, with that being said, see you in the video. Hope you enjoy, and yeah, bye. Anyways, on run 116, I was uh, doing the classic No Overworld where I went to a cave. Um, where, and then I found an ocean, so I decided to do mapless, and I somehow managed to hit it. So, I mean, I'm mean, i much better at mapless maybe. now, but I hit the mapless, and as you can see, I got three diamonds and three TNT, which was honestly, which Ooh. was honestly really impressive. So, That's yeah. a mapless, right there. <laughs> Wait, this is so funny, look at this. No, portal no. I even would need this. Well, I it approved. just cuts. <laughs> um, the stream just, just, just cuts out a minute. <laughs> hey, oh my gosh, why is that so funny? Also, I threw a pearl, and then this happened. Let's run around. Oh, Endermite. Also, I was gonna go cook some hoglins, and then this happened. Wait. Okay, never mind. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. Okay, man. And then yeah, this yeah, other hoglin just... I don't know what happened, and then the piglins killed it. <laughs> That's so funny. And then a hoglin, for some reason, on no, two hearts, on I tried to cook it and it didn't work. That was funny. Run 117 is like a, a really annoying run. Um, it started off as any normal run because it was a normal run. And I found instant iron, which was pretty cool. So I went to the nether and it was a 4 first. Um, so I went there and just did the run like normal. So far, really nothing out of the ordinary. It's just a classic for a first run. Nothing that would possibly go wrong. The run started getting a bit hairy when I found the uh, bridge bastion that was completely inside a wall. So I had to dig through the wall to get there, which was very, very annoying. What happened to my YouTube? I can play it. I'm pressing F. It's not doing anything. Escape doesn't do anything. Uh, I can. Oh, I can scroll. Bam, 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 bam. Ah, 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 ah. How, why are my captions so big? It's huge. What is happening? Help me. I'm gonna refresh. Does that work? Oh man. That was so close. Uh, uh, oh, it's now dark. And it's gone. And. Okay, yeah, yeah, average, average. Okay, anyways, I dug through a wall and I got the advancements, and that was kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I'm in the Bastion, but I'm not in the Bastion. Yay! So, um, later I did the Bastion, I blind traveled, and I got my, my distance, and I went back to the Nether to travel there, because that's what you usually do. Um, and yeah, this looks sub 40 ball, doesn't it? 27 minutes, 41 seconds. What could possibly go... Oh, okay. What could possibly really go really wrong? To lava, you know. Extremely rude stuff. What's... Oh my god. Yikers. So, um... When I landed the pearl, I was... Uh... I have no clue why the pearl just go up whatsoever but I was not gonna hit this block on the left because this, this was a wall I here but for some reason I pressed I pressed a I held down a and then I threw the pearl down at these blocks here so it just didn't land and I died um I have no clue why he decided to press a that was a really dumb decision honestly um because you look here right it's like my Z counter just goes up like a lot once it hits like 7-ish, I think, then I'm able to... Oh, my thing crashed, yeah. Once I hit 7, I can hit the block, so I just held A for some reason. So I just died. That was very dumb. 
Um, I don't know what my instinct- my instinct was trying to sprint that way. I still have no clue what my instinct was doing, but I screwed up, and, um, yeah. So, we're gonna look here. First ticket death is here. Pearls burned. How many eyes did he cross? 12. Okay, so I have 12 eyes. I don't see them anywhere. They're unaccounted for. Right? Yeah, they're definitely unaccounted for. I see... Arrows burned. I think pork burns. Is that pork? I think that's pork. I oh, know, pork's there. I know pork and cobble. Far as far as... Nether bricks, pearls, nothing important. Um, oh crap, oh no, my eyes burned. Yeah, yeah, my eyes are gone. I had one stack of pearls and the eyes burned. So, and I can't see anything. Okay, so we either have six or 16. No, wait, no, we either have one or 16 pearls. Actually, the 16 pearls could have died as well. So I could have two blaze powder, which is not enough. Okay, that's brutal. Clean restart, basically. So I... Why does this say captures? Okay. So I made myself... Wait, I cooked myself some food. I if you keep and I made fire, my way back to over to my heal? stuff. By going down in this or, cave or and stuff. So I made my way back to the spawner and I... Since all my eyes burned, I decided to kill blazes again, or I really, I kind of had to kill blazes again, so I went ahead and did that. Um, so yeah, there we go. Killing blazes. For the second time in the run. And then to rub salt in the wound, a few minutes later my stream died. Um, that's what it, it, it cut out when I failed the boat clutch, so I guess it just punished me for being bad at the game. <laughs> Which is very fair, honestly. I didn't notice until about 4 minutes later when I was digging through a wall at Y106 so I wouldn't have to go like down and face the world, you know, just hide from the world, best strat ever. Um, but yeah, I cut out a yeah, bunch of the run, which is cool, I don't really care. Whoa. So I somehow yeah, found terrain at Y106 because that always happens in Minecraft speedruns, obviously, yup. Yeah. Um, okay. And yeah, I slowly made my way back to my stuff. And when I finally got there, I was greeted by literally nothing. Not a single pearl survived. Nice. So yeah, here's a comparison of the two right. inventories, Not which is really, really funny to look at, honestly. Um, I have well, trying to E-Ray again, I found I out that yeah, there was another right. passion behind my bridge passion. So I was like, hmm, Wait, okay. So oh, while I was going to make my way over to that bastion, I found a lot of en endermen in this warp biome. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll just, you know, kill endermen. Because I have blaze rods already. My blind portal is like right over there behind me. So I'm like, hmm, this could work. So I killed endermen for... Killed them for about 10 minutes and I got 14 pearls, which I was happy with. So I went back to the original blind portal. On the way, I pied out a village, so I got the beds from there. I think that was a pretty good play, because I had, like, no beds to, like, kill the dragon with, so this was pretty smart. Um, yep, yeah, that was pretty nice. Very, very cool. I had my shield on me in case a creeper or something oh. happened, and That's apparently they spawned a golem in the house over there, so that was kind of funny. Now we're just peacefully running through a forest. What a speed run. What the heck? It froze instantly. And then I dug down on the and then I dug down on the wrong chunk. I thought that's a negative two and and this said two, so even even better. And finally, Here's after one hour strong. and five minutes, I found the stronghold. Oh my goodness, it is good to be here. And then I opened the door and two baby zombies came out and attacked me. So I quickly ran up here and I juked the crap out of them. Good play for me. And then while I was punching stuff in the library for no apparent reason, because I already had seven beds, I probably forgot about it. My stream cut out. Okay. That clutch was not caught on camera. I'm so sad. I fell from the library down here and I water bucket clutched. Oh my gosh. 
It's the scariest crap ever. Why is this... where? Also, when I, when the, when the, when the skeleton, I flashback to that one Molly G clip, where he got like better. punched into like a ravine and a skeleton shot him, and then they created a blue ball and stuff. So that's why I got scared yes. of that. But yeah, so dude, dumb. look at look, look at this fly bridge. It's over a ravine. What is that? I eventually made my way to the portal room, and it was a zero eye. So if Get I had pearls. low eyes, oh mega lol. And I made some slabs because I had to slab cycle. Which I haven't practiced in years, because who the heck practices slap cycle? And yeah. One hour and eight minutes into this well terrible, been. horrendous run, um, I was in the end, and I was looking to finish the run. Just get it out of there. Uh, the dragon trolled the for a full for three full minutes. Wait, 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 that's two minutes. Play Sorry. Life. The dragon trolled for a whole two minutes, which was pretty funny. And finally, 1 hour, 11 minutes, here, or 4,280 oh, seconds into the run, the dragon perched. And I... pulled off an incredible slap cycle to get rid of this absolute horrendous oh, kid. Gosh. I did it! I beat that! Freaking hell of a run, dude. Oh man, it's snowing now. Oh, beat the hell of a run. Dude, that was a sick slab cycle. What the heck? Oh man. Okay, well, I'm gonna visit this ice spikes biome. Looks nice. It's a nice ice spikes biome. Whoa! Ice spikes. Whoa. Let's over the speed. What is it? 5, 1, 9, 8, 6, 9, 3, 4, 9, 1, 3, 4, 7, 8, 2, 6, 4, 2. You are a terrible city. Let's go look right there. Nice. By the coast. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. So I beat the hardest run of the challenge, or one of the worst runs of the challenge. That was honestly not my fault. It was just super duper unlucky, which was very unfortunate. But yeah, I managed to defeat it. So, yippee me, I guess, I don't know. So, run 118, I was digging, and then... What do you need oh, to do? No. Oh! X-ray! No I knew that would work. I was collecting cobbles, don't mind doing that. I knew it was gonna work, dude. No way. Hacks. Hacker. Seven. Seven? Okay, cool. Seven. Yeah, and also this run, my friend Eric started commentating, and... Um, in the recent runs, uh, I've had him commentate the few runs, just so the streams are like less boring this and stuff. So yeah, that's Omega something, Lab. I guess. This is definitely world record. Um, but yeah, so I x-rayed Iron, which is very average. Oh. And yeah. Th th you have it on, right? Look at these vines, look at these vines. This splice looks very suspicious. Infinite pearls! Look at this. Actually no, I have no pearls, it's fine, it's not it's not even a suspicious slice, it just sucks. I have like no pearls right now. So anyways, on run 119 I enter the end and instantly saw a bastion. And then I ran to this lava. I got no way, no way, I just did that. No. Once. So I went back into the nether after hunger resetting, because I just bought the food. And when I went back I just wanted to hunger reset, okay. Uh, bridge. There's gonna be a fortress next to Bastion. I ran to lava. I am camp. so stupid. Too smart. I and then I tracked, and there I think there was actually a fort. No, there wasn't a fort. Okay. Yeah, that no, was fun. I ran, I ran to lava twice. Oh wow! Nice. And then more lava came down. Also went to the bridge triple chest and saw this. Frick you! What do now? So yeah, I just did an improv imp 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 improvised route where I just broke this and just did that. And I got a grand total of three piglins. Because, yes. Also, while I was measuring my eyes, there was a spider, so I just built to like a whole platform. <laughs> Wait, is it thundering? Wait, is it thundering? It's thundering! Okay, <laughs> That's so funny, it's thundering. Oh my gosh. My prediction is that you're gonna somehow die. 
with a 47% chance. Really? And you're gonna step on die. It's rude. You're gonna step it's not rude, it's, it's life. True. Don't use West. Jesus. You can't change if you're fine. So, my friend basically death spelled me. Um, and I had to prove him wrong, so I went ahead and did this east west cycle with the leggy dragon. And I hit it. Was that about dying? What was that about dying? Go! 47% chance. Yeah. I, I broke your 47% chance, Bozo. The next run, it took me 3 minutes, but I actually yeah. found a buried treasure, so that was very, yeah. very incredible. Go. I managed to find a buried treasure. Incredible. GG. And I got 4 yes. fish. Because why not? Was... On this run, I was uh, strip mining, and I accidentally got myself a diamond pickaxe. I found diamonds, diamond. then I found more diamonds. So now I had 7 diamonds, but I just made myself full diamond tools, because why not? Sorry guys. Come on. Right, you're trading. Ah! Don't do that. Don't do that, please. Jump! Learn to jump. Learn to jump. Okay, there we go. Okay, learn to jump. Never mind, this guy didn't learn to jump. <laughs> didn't learn to jump, dude. Okay. Please. Yes! I finally learned to jump, dude. Historic, you were here. Okay. Now I need to Okay. Also, this soul sand valley floor was crazy because it was fully above a lava lake, so all the mobs had to spot on the fort. And then just look at this. There's so many mobs just literally everywhere. It's incredible. <laughs> look at how many places I have. This is so cool. Also, look at this. I just go over here, and there's just like 10 blazes just waiting here. Like this. And then the skeleton just shoots a zombie piglin. And then it just dies. Oh, the zombie piglin. Okay, 3407, locate birdie treasure. Is there one here or is there one in there? No, okay, I found the only one. I found the only birdie treasure. Okay, good job. What was this? Is there a mine shaft? Nice, there's a mine shaft. Okay, good job. I found the birdie treasure. Oh, I, I didn't see this. What? <laughs> Dude, I saw the buried treasure and I ran this way. I didn't see this freaking thing. Bruh. I, I saw the map when I just ran that way. That's interval. I gotta say like five minutes. There's a there's a there's a freaking Oh my god. There's a blacksmith here too. What the heck? Whoa! Okay, what the heck? I, okay, this, so on run 121, um, I broke this block to aggro some pigs, and then I got pushed, shoved a lot here, um, but I luckily went through and placed a block off, and I tried to eat the gap of this guy over here, just smacked me, that was really rude, like this stupid guy, and then I just died, if I, if it just ran down, I would have been fine, uh, um, I, Got lost for like 17 minutes and then I went back to the portal and realized I didn't have enough wood so I just killed myself to get back. It's actually kind of funny. So anyways, I looted the good gap and I come down here and there's just piglins fighting hoglins everywhere. It's actually so hilarious. So I squeeze these chests and there's just a dead dude over there in the ground. There's an arrow on the wall and you just hear the piglins. The guy just takes fall damage, drops down, chasing the hoglins. It's so chaotic. On run 121, I ran into so many treasure bastions that I actually had to like trade the gold there because I ran out of fires and pearls, which is just stupid in my opinion. Like, what? Are you joking? What the hell? Rip your stuff. My pearl hit the. Hit the side. Your stuff. No, my, my pearl hit me. Or some. Yes. What? And then I blind into a village that had a blacksmith. The blacksmith is uh, to my right here, but yeah, I just mined these hay bales for food. It was quite convenient. Run 122 started off like um, any. Go oh, die in a hole. Like a normal run where I could get food and then I just get your phone. Um, upon spawning in, I immediately saw a oh, fortress. Nice. Yeah, that was average. pretty interesting. Um, so I went ahead and tried to do fortress first. Uh, okay. Fortress. 
which ended up going like this. Oh no, there's more guys shooting me now. No, go! Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. Wait, I'm dead. Rip your life. What? Dude, my health just went like. My health just went like here, and then just went. It's actually disgusting how quickly I died here. I'm actually really surprised. Um, so first I go to crit this blaze. And then I quickly place a block here in case there's wither skeletons. And then I shield. So then when the blade shoots me, I'm completely fine. Um, so yeah, everything's going pretty well, I'd say. Um, just turn my playback speed up, yeah. And this going pretty well. Oh, there's more I go ahead now. and I, uh, this magma cube is really annoying, so I just kill it. And I got shot from behind, so now I'm down three hearts. So I shield behind me. Look how many blizzards are there. There's, there's only like four, right? But yeah, and then, oh, while I'm here, these guys shoot at, oh, and then I turn, and I get hit once, and another time, in that rapid succession, that's actually really quick, so I got hit, okay, so like, like, pretty much in right in between iframes, which is really stupid, um, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, like, basically, like, like three frames of iframes, like a tenth of a second. And I'm just dead. And wait, I'm dead. And most of my food s straight up just jumped into these fires somehow. All my food, like I had mutton, chicken, and pork, and two of the foods jumped into both of these fires, which was really dumb. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, this is just really unlucky. Um, I have no clue, because if Blaze was behind me, I couldn't just shield all day, because that Blaze would end up killing me, I had to kill that Blaze, and there was, they just like, they just shot me from everywhere, it was so dumb. Anyways, I got back, and only had 5 profiles left. This Blaze shoots at my feet and makes a soul fire, so it does w one heart per tick. And I punch it out, but fire I think does 5 hearts. If, it, if you don't eat, it does just 5 hearts, so that's great. I'm already low, I come down here. And uh, there's a wither skeleton there, and there's another no, no, wither skeleton no, no, no. right there, and it hits me. I think. And Starvation. yeah, that's Where? fun. So now I'm on Look to the right, three hearts to right. with like no to food and it's right. very cool. That's more to right. your yeah. right. This is this this bad. This fortress more sucks. To your... Yeah, turn more to the right. I there think is that's... a match. Is one over there? Bro. Hold up. Oh, you lived! Okay, so... Okay, so, so, so... I have no food now. I... I... I have six rods. Turn right 180 degrees and There's no there, fucking bastion. It looks 113, like 113. Okay. Okay. I'm tempted to start abusing a 3A right now, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Do they not allow you to F3A? No, that's a glitch. It's an exploit, glitch, whatever. Yeah, my friend was being annoying, he's like, look for a Bastion. I know for a fact there's no Bastion, you probably saw a Basalt Delta. And yeah, it's just really annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. Um, so I just left on 6, I did not want to be there, I had no food Let's now. see if we can find any blades So it's, it's great. So on my quest to get food, I decided to... The shame if you fall, were to fall down there. And he somehow hit that's, me, so that's, that's cool. Excuse me? Yeah. Uh, really they shame. never are able to hit you, and then... Go to the big one! Okay, it's somehow he yeeted me down the hole, now. which was incredible. Rip. Um... I don't know how this happened. So first of all, this dude somehow hits me. Um, okay, I guess. So that's cool. One cool thing happens. Um... Excuse me? And then, It'd really be a shame. second thing, a dude comes behind me, and then, third thing, this knockback. Okay, so, they're hitting me this way. So, of course, it's very reasonable to conclude that when they hit me, like, here, I go the opposite direction, right? That's very reasonable. Anybody who's been in school, anybody who's past grade one, you know. If you hit someone facing this direction, they will go this way. It's super obvious, right? 
Very easy fun fact. You just go that way. I, I, I think the baby hog in here hit me. And of course they managed to hit me in this huge lava hole because no why would they not? No. no. Why would they not hit me into this huge lava hole? Because so what the heck? They literally yeeted me. Like like Go to the big Like place. um <laughs> Like at the end here, they hit me straight to the middle. Like that's so insane. Like I don't know what's happening this run, but yeah, that's great. Rip. <laughs> Rip. It's amazing. So anyways, um my friend was on the call and he was being annoying, as you can possibly tell. So I just kicked him out of the call. So this trunk for Um and then I just did a map list. And that went pretty well. So I found a map list buried. And I used this iron to complete the run. So yeah. I focused up again. So I had like six fish and three run flesh um so i decided not to do four first um uh, for obvious reasons so what i did instead and then I go was to i machine. just made my way over here and i oh, simply just threw sense. a pearl hang so um yeah that way i could just travel to the bastion that i know was in this direction and i could do the, just do the fort later when i had fire res because this fort no no thank you <laughs> I eventually made it to a treasure bastion without dying or anything of the sorts. Um, so great job to me. Like no gold. And yeah, so I completed the bastion. I released my pearl hang. Um, of the bastion. Am I far? No. Okay. And I was back at spawn for round two of this fortress. Rematch. But this time, wait. I had oh, fire wait. resistance. So let's see if I managed to. Uh, my food, finally armor, complete the bastion, and or runs. fail. And this time, I finally managed to actually complete the ba complete the fortress without dying. After one failed attempt and another attempt that made me almost lose my mind, um, I did it, and I got I think I got seven rods now. No, I have six, six rods. Oh, okay, there we go. Now that's just spawned. <laughs> I just walked back here. Yeah, there's like a whole there's party a going, going on. But yeah, though, I managed to complete yeah. the bastion. With oh, sorry, the fortress. And I was able to complete the there. rest of the run. And with this very interesting one cycle, to say the least, I managed to complete the 52 minute long run, which was so annoying. Um because I died like multiple times just to dumb stuff. Oh my god. But gosh. I did it. I managed to I'm there, dude. complete the run. So yeah, that's that. Get the heck out of here. I managed to beat it. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. Just another obstacle. Oh. My challenge and I came over it. <sighs> so stupid. And I overcame it pretty well. There. And for my next Whatever. one, I got a sub 40, which isn't a really impressive time, but I didn't die once this run. And I oh, almost shoot. hit a four bit, but then I did die. Okay, well, <laughs> so I just acted to death because why not? There we go. GG. Was that mad at me? Yeah. Witness. On run 124, oh, I was trying to find lava, insane. and I did manage to find lava. Oh, this but I came in here. Oh, this is not good. And a spider came after me, which I oh, killed. This is not good at all. Really Dude, terribly. How much health is a spider? And then the zombie and oh, skeleton, oh, and gosh, another skeleton, oh, and another oh, zombie gosh. came and started attacking me. I thought I was gonna die, but I managed to block everything off. Okay. And just get the heck out of there. Uh, chillax. And I managed to not die. So yeah, good job okay, to everyone, guys. Stay okay. The run got a little kind of crazy when I saw I got a bastion at like 10 minutes. Which is like, like 4 minutes faster than my PB. So yeah, average. Unfortunately, the fortress was 27 chunks away. So this kind of kills the pace a bit. But still, I'm like 4 minutes ahead of my PB at this point. Actually, no, I left the Bastion about now on my PB, so it's no longer PBable. But, with good terrain, 27 chunks can be pretty quick. So let's see if that happens or not. So the terrain is actually pretty good. I pretty much make the entirety of the 27 chunks in like 1 minute 30 seconds, which is absolutely incredible, because just look at this. See, this is, this is why I usually just play, like, 27 chunks can be, like, a lot, if you think about it, but it's really not a lot. Unfortunately... Um, when I pied R again, it ends up being this wall over here to my left. So that's really unfortunate. So if you look over here, it's, it's through this wall. And when I...
crawl this way. So like, I think I entered the fort at like 15 minutes on my PB, which is stupidly slow. But yeah, it's just a straight wall, and like, oh, this is no longer PBable. I'm so sad. Um, so I'm going through this ravine here, and I, and I somehow go through this, this cave to find another cave to find um an opening, and the fort's there. So this is a 15 minute enter, which was kind of insane, I think. So yeah, um, 15 minute enter, pretty cool. I think I blinded at like 60 minutes, so let's see if I do that or not. Unfortunately, my blaze split was just really slow, the spawner just did not cooperate. My blaze rate sucked, so yeah, it was just not a good day. And by the time I got enough rods, it was 18 minutes, 32 seconds, and it was just too slow. And I hit the 2.2k blind, so it wasn't really guaranteed I spy either. But this still had the opportunity to be, to be pretty good pace, so I... So I booked it, I booked the pearls, I did the run as fast as I humanly could, and yeah, see what happens. I entered the end at about like 20 minutes-ish, and the dragon trolled for a pretty long time, but I actually perched at the 22 minute mark, so I quickly set up my beds for the one cycle, and I finished with a time of uh, about 23 minutes and 4 seconds. 23, sad. On run 124, I was just harvesting berries, and I thought there wasn't any structure in the overworld. No structure, overworld. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 right! Right, I, sorry, I, 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 I forgot, there, there, I forgot, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, that's right, that's right. I did not realize that there was a freaking ocean ruined on the coast of where I was, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. So sorry, so sorry. So sorry. And yeah, I got a buried yeah, treasure map from that thing, because, good. yeah, why not? It's very, very average yeah. stuff happens in every Minecraft yeah. speedrun. And hey, look at that, Stone Axe as well. Stone Axe, Lovely. Map. I um, had three gold this speedrun, so I tried to trade because... it to Piglins. Um, unfortunately, they weren't really nice about it, so... Um, this guy was kind of stupid. So I just had to get out the good old axe and exterminate. Um, no and yeah, that's about it. And there was a fortress over there to the right. So I'm like, maybe I'll get a fire res, I'll just high roll the fire res or something. But, of course, it's classic. You know I'm gonna get literal air, and no, indeed, literal air I did get. So I, see, I tried to get a fig out boost or something. I literally just got air. So that's unfortunate. So then I made my way to the fortress, doing some very precarious speed bridging over a huge lava lake. Um, because I literally got nothing from classic. Or actually, actually, it was three gold. Honestly, I'm not plug it out. I'm not getting. Was it was it, was it plug it out? I'm not too sure. I think it was plug it out. Um, and they got they got 16 pearls from three trades. I think three gold. Yeah, I'm not plug it out. Unfortunately, um, I turned my render distance up all the way, and um, I had 270 entities for 300. So I had exactly 30 entities somewhere. But it's it was so super far away, Render distance. and it wasn't any of those things. Cause it, see, it's not that, is it? 180, no, it's still there. Yeah, it probably was that, but it was really far, so it just didn't go. Since there was a lot of gold ore around me, I decided to try Classic. Um, and this went uh, really badly. I almost died to a magma cube here, but luckily the dude somehow lands on that one block and doesn't yeah. land on me. If, if it landed in my hitbox, I might have died, which is, which would be really funny, honestly. No way. I traded, I think it was like 56 gold or something like that. And in the end, I acquired 8 total yeah, I'll just, pearls. I'll just play for the four um, yeah, yeah. And there was no bashing within 32 chunks, so I decided to I see if I could... Swim across lava. Um, um, see if I could do something or something like that. See if I could get a 4 eye, actually, yeah. Four eye challenge. So it depends on. So I made my way to the portal room and it was a zero, zero eye. eye. Oh my god! I did not pull the. That was so What's the chance of a four eye? Like what? I forgot the chance of a four eye. But yeah, I unfortunately did not get the four eye. I wonder why. Um, so I had to go back to the Nether to find another way of acquiring pearls. So yeah, it was we go next. I eventually made my way over to a treasure bastion. 
<laughs> and while I was swimming this lava, like, two gas started shooting at me, which was very, very terrifying. Well, luckily, I turned my renders into two and just got them out of my renders since out of my sight, and they couldn't fire all me. I made my way to a treasure bastion and did some uh, stuff there, uh, such as trading for ender pearls. Um, and I got some pearls. Yay! And from there, I pearled all the way back to my stronghold portal. Actually, it turned out I didn't make a portal here. I actually went through overworld. So what I instead did was I went to the cords with my new obby from the stronghold, and then I built the portal. So I performed the first ever... I don't know, not the first ever, but... I performed a portal room I spy, but not really. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. On baseball, go. Oh my gosh, portal room I spy. So good at the game. And yeah, at 50 minutes, I finally entered the end. Oh, and I accidentally even quit. Nice. And finally, a whole 51 minutes into the run, the dragon perched, and I hit the worst one cycle of my life. Um, and my Wi-Fi lag to show its um, uh, disapproval in my one cycle. But I did it. <laughs> Um, I traded, I think it was 49 gold actually, um, or like 50-ish gold, and I got 8 pearls, which was very, very unlucky. So yeah, that was that, I guess. Unfortunate. I then took a one-week break, um, and when it came back, so I like, I went on like a volunteer thing, and when it came back, I got sick. So, yeah, that was fun. So while playing the seed, I found a lava pool, which I think was pretty interesting. There was just a lava pool at spawn, and it started burning down these trees. So I managed to actually grow ice and see it, which I think was pretty cool. Um, and also that happened, because of 5 minute leg, which is pretty hilarious. And yeah, that was pretty cool, I guess. I went through my portal to instantly see a fortress. That's the portal behind me. And... Um, as you can see, <laughs> I wasn't talking, so I just typed in chat instead. And I was pretty sure Blaze was going to snipe me off here, but I just forced the speed bridge and hoped they wouldn't hit me. And sure enough, they actually didn't hit me, which was pretty insane. Um, so I quickly just dug into this <laughs> and hid. <laughs> because, yeah, that's, that's what normal people do. And then I pop out to see, like, three wither skeletons, which was pretty incredible. Um, luckily they can't hit me, so I just crit them out. Um, I had 22 pork chops, I'm not sure what I was afraid of, but okay, I guess. Um, but yeah, there's straight blazes, two to be exact, which is very fun. And there's a magma cube, oh nice. Yeah, this is great, and the magma cube's jumping on my head now. This was very stressful, and also I was sick, so that was extra stressful. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> I just dug down, I was like, I'm out of here, bro. I am out of here. <laughs> there's blazes on... Uh, there's blazes in my face. There's a blaze ahead to my left. And then there was blazes behind me. And there's a magma cube chasing me. I was like, no thank you. I need to just calm down and take a break. So I did. Pretty good smart play, honestly. The blaze wandered into my one big one hole. And the magma cube jumped out the fort. So I decided to uh, take on the blazes. And I poked up, up. And this time I was successfully able to kill all the blasts. And it got a control in the situ- oh, never mind. I did not get a control in the situation. Okay, yeah, that's great. I love fort- I love- I love- I love assault forts, man. Anyways, I eventually found a bastion. Um, I completed the fort split without dying or coming close to dying, which I think is pretty good. Pretty good on my part. Um, and the skeleton hit the blaze. So I was like, okay, you two can fight it out, I don't really care. Um, so I just started my inventory. Oh, never mind. It's mad at me for some reason. Oh, because the skeleton walked off the edge. Okay, cool. But yeah, so I just killed this blaze, and I was making my way over to this uh, bastion. So I made my way over there, slowly but surely. I traveled for a super long time, and I ran out of basically all my blocks. I had five slabs as blocks. I went into my wood supply, which I usually don't do, because that's not really nice. Um, because you can then kind of craft beds, and then I usually enter the end without checking for wood, and then I'm stuck in the end. But, um, yeah, I ran for a long time. There was no bastion, which was very confusing. Um, which, yeah, so that's weird. Eventually, I e raid again and found that there indeed was a bastion in that direction that I'm looking, and then I got jumped by a magma cube, which was very pleasant, I guess. 
And then I, th I think I jumped over the small dude or something like that. It's weird. But yeah, it's just pretty interesting, I guess. Yeah, and then I'm trying to farm blocks while running. Because I have no blocks. I have five. I have all of five oak slabs. <laughs> and also here, I was... I didn't know where to go, and this man could jump me, so I quickly fought to my shield and knocked it off. Um, and luckily that shield saved me. And then I just... Because I didn't really know where to go, so I just... I just kind of quickly just jumped out, and I managed to live. So I, I didn't take a lot of damage, but I had the opportunity to take a ton of damage there. Which I didn't, so that was pretty nice to me. Yeah, and finally I got out of assault. I think I was running the whole... I don't know how long to traverse, I left the fort at like 12 minutes, now it's 17. So I, I ran the whole 5 minutes in a freaking basalt. That was not pleasant. So I finally making myself over to Solson Valley, I almost died to that stupid pit. And that stupid pit, and that skeleton! So yeah, it's great. What a warm welcome into the Solson Valley. And after like 11 minutes of traversing, I finally made it to the Bastion. Um, this ended up to be the wrong Bastion I was E-raying. This was I think... A full like 700, 900 blocks ish away from my original place. So, okay, I think this is bottom bridge. But, um, yeah, this ended up being like really, really far from where I actually was supposed to be or, or, or what I e raid. So that was pretty funny. I made it to the Bastion finally, which was very cool. Uh, so, yeah, GG, I guess. Also, I have 61 wool. I have no clue how I got that, but okay, I guess. Also, look at these cords. I'm at 3,900, right? There's, yeah, the 32 renders only like 500 something blocks, so the, yeah, this is this is definitely not the Bastion I E-Raid. The Stronghold cores were actually right next to the leg of this fortress here, so I I, I performed I what I think would be a fortress I spy. I was kind of, like, kind of in the fortress, which was pretty cool. Or something, I was like right on the side of the fort, which was pretty cool, honestly. I lit the portal. This is actually I spy. It has like a 71% chance to do me, so. Oh, it did. Wow. Fortress I Spy, pretty sick, honestly. Yeah, pretty cool. And yeah, after the run, um, I decided to check the Nether. Um, <laughs> you can see I'm typing in chat and stuff. Um, so yeah, I will commentate because I was sick at this time, so there's absolutely no commentary. Yeah, I check. I first check all uh, four quadrants. If you don't know about the locate command. It actually will only check your quadrant, which is... It only checks that quadrant, which is really wonky. So I have to check all four of them and fly around. So th this will take a while. I got the wrong way at first. But yeah, so there's one at 432-262. So that's a negative positive. So keep checking. I might eventually find a negative positive bastion. Or not. Okay, so apparently they're all in the negative negative quadrant, which is absolutely sick. Um... Alright, cool. <laughs> so yeah, um, apparently the one I E-rate was probably this 432 one, I assume. I assume I E-rate the 432 one. Um, none of them were close to where I actually was. This was where the Sebastian was, and I ran... Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, but uh, I ran... Where did I run? I was like somewhere over here-ish. Oh yeah, see this basalt? I was traveling in this basalt the entire time. And I think I, I, I was supposed to run like in, the, in an angle behind me. Like, Oh, this was behind me. Never mind. Wrong way. Omega. Um, I actually E-rate here. <laughs> but it's still that bastion. So I don't know what I E-rate over here, but that's average. Um... Okay, so apparently I E-raid literal air. That's nice. And I ran that way and hit a bastion. Okay, cool. With that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe if you think I deserve it. If you think I made a video, if I made the video look good. If it isn't good, then don't do that. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next 1785 runs video, which should come out in like one day. Wait, is that a room portal? Okay, yeah, that is. Alright, bye.